Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another resin project. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make, with UV resin and a tiny mold, these little reindeer. I love them, but it's such a small mold, I wasn't sure what to do with them, and then I thought, three-dimensional backdrop for a Cricut sign, obviously. So if you want to see how to make these little guys, they're quick, they're easy, beginner level friendly, and you can make at least four or five in five minutes. Stick around. All right, y'all, so we are going to get started. We are making our cute, adorable little resin reindeer. You can see I have already made quite a few of them. I am going to be making a sign with my Cricut. I'm thinking out of something thick like basswood or maybe some corrugated cardstock or maybe some glitter cardstock. I'm not sure, but something to go over the top of this that's really like um, sturdy. It's a cute little saying about reindeer. So I wanted to make a kind of repeating pattern texture for the back of my sign. I have this little silicone reindeer mold. And so I wanted to make just a whole bunch of these little reindeer. Now, of course, I typically use a one-to-one -one resin like Maker Epoxy, but to wait for one little reindeer to cure hours and hours and hours just isn't feasible when you wanna make so many. So instead I am using a UV resin. I prefer Total Boats UV resin. I love that stuff. This is fine though. This came from um, Michael's. I'll try to link it below and I'm just trying to use it up. So I figured something like this where I'm doing a whole bunch of repeating pieces was perfect. So you can see, I already got my little colors made. So I've got my gloves on, I've got my respirator on. UV resin is still resin. And we are going to go ahead and get real close in here and put our resin in our silicone mold. So, dun, 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 dun. so this little guy is really tiny. And so I find that the best way is to kind of add your resin on top. I'm gonna add little dollops right over the prongs of his antlers. And you'll see the resin will start to level out, flow into the little antlers. You can make sure to bridge the gaps. And then if we put too much on top, we can use a clean popsicle stick or a paper towel. I typically just use a clean popsicle stick to kind of re-clean the surface. It's not going to hurt anything if you cured it with the resin on the surface. It just means you'll have more cleanup work afterwards. I'll show you that as well. It's much easier when I'm not filming and I can get close to this guy, but this works too. Oh no, I mean, that's why closer is better. But you can really start to see reindeer take place, take place, take shape. We definitely wanna fill up the middle here until the body is just barely even with the top or a little bit over. We just don't want them to be under. Perfect. I'm gonna put this back in my plastic container. When I'm working with these little medicine cups, I like to use like this is an empty frog tape container. It holds the medicine cups up and the popsicle sticks so they don't fall over and make sure that no resin gets anywhere. So now I'm gonna use a clean popsicle stick and most of that has settled in, but this drop right here I'm just gonna edge him in and that looks perfect. So now I'm going to take my UV light and I'm just going to place it right over top and hit go. I'm gonna leave that on as long as it takes. I think it's 30 seconds. It might be a minute. I, I don't know, we'll find out. We're timing it right now. All right, I like to do it twice because I'm a glutton for punishment. This 
these little antlers are very uh tiny little prongs tiny little prongs so i just like to make sure he's as strong as possible and i i do it twice then i unmold him and then i will flip him over and i'll do it once more from the back might be a bit of overkill but i just find with these little pieces that the first first one solidifies the shape second one cures it really hard and then when you do the third one without your little mold here that helps with any stickiness so you can see i can touch him he's not he's solid now so i'm just going to So I'm just going to slowly start to pull it back away from all those little pieces. You can feel he's warm, that's good. Resin gets warm as it cures, so that means it's worked. Bum -ba -da he's so pretty. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set him down and I'm gonna cure it one more time opposite side typically when I do this I move my resin um, far away so that this doesn't accidentally cure anything in here but this is my last one in this project and these are going in the trash so I'm not worried about it right now but I'm not sure let's see no, they're still liquid, so it's not close enough to cure those either way, but I just never take the risk. All right, last but not least, I'm going to pick this little guy up. He's definitely cured. It's no longer sticky, and I'm just going to take an X-Acto knife. This is my Cricut True Control knife, which I like, and I'm just going to take any of those little you can see in between the antlers that little pieces of webbing that kind of was the over cast and I'm just gonna kind of cut it All right, all done. So now we can put him, last but not least, on our little board. And our sign is ready to roll. That's cute. So now I will glue all those down. I'm not 100% sure if I can use UV resin or if I'm gonna have to use super glue, but look how cute that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if that will work. I'll take my UV resin. Let's start with one in the bottom. That way if it doesn't work, I mean, if it doesn't work, we can always just flip it over, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of UV resin to the back. Little tiny bit to the antlers. I use my popsicle stick to kind of spread it out a little. All right. Now, once we put them down, we want to make sure that we put them in the right place. And since I'm not wearing a glove on this hand, I am going to use um, tweezers. There we go. Now I'm going to hold them down with the tweezers and set the UV.
I think that's working. He feels pretty sturdy under there. Oh yeah, he's he's glued. So, give me a minute. I'm going to do all his little friends. They should all be stuck down now. Dun, da, da, da. Reindeer sun. I feel like I need one more right there. Might whip one more up. But at the end of the day, we are finished our little resin reindeer. UV resin is great for projects like this that you just need a bunch of something little very fast because you can make all of them in succession. So I will give you some close up shots, but we are done with this project. I will link below to the finished product when we add our Cricut um, SVG over top. All right, y'all. Do you love it? They're even cuter on the sign with the Cricut overlay. So if you want to check that out, I will leave the video down below and I will see you in the next project. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom. See you next time.